and NPA. From one regulator to the next, market regulator SEBI has proposed sweeping changes to curb speculation in the futures and options market and protect retail investors. Remember, this was expected and anticipated. Now, this includes hiking the minimum contract size for index derivative contract in a phased manner. Yash is standing by now with details. Yash, take us through the changes that are being proposed by SEBI. Well, Shireen, uh, market regulators' consultation paper on derivatives or futures and options trading largely reflects what its working group had recommended. And SEBI steps which it has taken in the consultation paper clearly are towards uh, reducing the exuberance, re reducing the excitement uh, which the regulator was observing in terms of volumes of futures and options contracts. Uh, the most important part out of the proposal has come on the minimum contract size which has been significantly raised. SEBI has said that the minimum value of derivatives contract on the side of futures and options will be raised uh, to about 15 to 20 lakhs in the first uh, six months of the introduction of that contract and once the contract completes six months then that minimum value of derivatives contract uh, should be raised to about 20 to 30 lakhs this is a significant increase at both stages from the current 5 to 10 lakh rupees the second one is with respect to rationalization of weekly index products what sebi has said is that weekly options contracts can be provided uh, on a single benchmark index of an exchange so today nse provides weekly contracts and expiry on various uh, indices, be it Bank Nifty, Midcap, Financial Nifty, BSE offers on Bankex, Sensex. What SEBI is saying is that exchanges will have to choose just one uh, contract where weekly expiry can be provided. Third one is with respect to increase in margins closer to expiry. SEBI has uh, proposed that margins on the expiry day and the day before expiry uh, should be increased in a particular manner. What would be that manner? First one, at the start of the day before the expiry, Extreme loss margin or ELM should be raised by 3%. On the day of the expiry, SEBI says that ELM or extreme loss margin should be further raised by about 5%. Uh, SEBI has also recommended various changes, be it on the option strike price side. It has also recommended, uh, you know, collection of upfront premium, options premium uh, by the option buyer also monitoring of intraday positions when it comes to the options trading and finally removal of calendar spread benefit on the expiry day uh, for FNO trading. These are various steps which market regulators have been suggested. All right, Yash, many thanks for joining us. This is a discussion paper that the regulator has put out. And of course, uh, do share your feedback, uh, comments and recommendations right here on CNBC TV 18. We are going to be discussing them. Shares of PNB